What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get into some NBA player props for Thursday, February 23rd slate of games. Welcome back to the NBA after the All-Star break. We are excited to bring these picks back. We are keeping the same teams as last week until this Saturday. People, listen up. We will pull up the graphic right now. If your name is on one of our teams, please drop your picks in the comments for tonight's games. We will be running with these teams until Saturday night, so get your picks in. We have a tight race for winning coach this week, so be sure to be active in the chat with your player props. Also, the honey pot, you guys are at one day. We botched the phrasing in the last hunting pot, so we didn't count it against you as a loss. Uh, there will be a play today in the community tab, so go for, go for that as well. All right, try pull up the leaderboard. New half of the season, new records. Everyone's starting at 0-0, but it's important to remember where you came from. So those records from the first half of the season will be sitting there reminding us what we did. Trey, kick us off for the next half of the NBA. I'm going to attack the free throws made, and I'm going to go with my golden goose here in James Harden. This is just a disrespectful line at five and a half free throws made. He's he's over this average in his last five at 6.4, hitting at four out of the last five games. So he is coming into this game with a lot of momentum on his side. And I spent a lot of this week watching ESPN and FS1. You know, Pat McAfee was off for this whole week. What do you guys want from me? And a lot of the segments were who was under the most pressure in the second half in playoffs. And James Harden was number one or number two in a lot of those lists. And you know who was watching that? James Harden. I think he's going to come out and want to make a statement in this game. And you know what? I think he's going to get a lot of cheap fouls as well. We all know who's going to be guarding him in this game. Dylan Brooks. Brooks is always, you know, known for stupid fouls, and James Harden's going to be taking him to the rim consistently in this game. And like I said, he's hit this in his past five games average, and adding the fact that Harden loves playing against the Grizzlies, it makes me love this line even more. Harden in his last five games against Memphis is averaging over nine free throws made per game with just at 11 free throws attempted. So he's getting a lot of attempts, and he's making every single one of them. Give me the over on this week number. I think James Harden's going to shadow this number tonight. Yeah, Trey, uh, I think we're on the save wavelength here because as my first pick back for the second half of the season, in my notes, I'm going with my golden goose. He won't let me down day one. He's been sitting at home getting ready for this next half of the season. It's CJ McCollum, over 20 and a half points and over two and a half threes. A twofer for the people again. I'm giving out two picks everywhere. Did it for my college pick, doing it here as well. CJ was still doing his thing before All-Star break, but tonight he's back, well-rested, mad about not getting an invite to the All-Star game. He will be ready to ball. Can't go off last game's play, but we can go off the Raptors, who are allowing teams to shoot 37.1% from deep this year, 28th in the NBA, and teams are making 13 threes per game against them. CJ shoots 48% against the Raptors in his career, and he has scored 23 or more in four of his last five games versus Toronto. On the road for CJ, he's averaging seven three-point shot attempts per game, and making 2.5 of them, so right on the edge for threes. Listen, guys, it's most likely get one, get the other, so take them both if you can, and let's cash day one, CJ points, and over his threes made. Teets? Yeah, I'm not as crazy about taking two first on the player props, um, but I do like those picks quite a bit. I will probably tail those for my own personal game. Um, I'm looking at my my golden goose. I'm going to call him a golden goose just because I'm a fan of the team and he's definitely the leader of the team. I'm taking Jason Tatum over his 29 and a half points. Um, here's the thing. He's coming off. He just won the uh, Kobe Bryant MVP all-star award. And that is such a huge thing because he basically takes his game and he models it around what Kobe did, which essentially is also kind of modeling around Jordan you know, one of the greatest of all time. Jason Tatum is trying to make a case for his potential MVP debut this season. He's got a lot of growth to still do, and he's going to have to put up some insane numbers for that to happen because he's going up against Nikola Jokic and Joel Embiid and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Again, I don't know if I can say those names as quick as I did ever again, but Tatum has had a very good season so far. And if we look at how he did against the Pacers recently, um, he has scored 41 31, 24, 33, and 24 in his last five games. And when he's been on the road against them, he scored 24, 33, 27, 25, and 30. So there's a reason why his number is at 29 and a half, not 33 and a half or higher. 
We're also looking at the fact that everyone is basically back healthy at this point. Marcus Smart's back. Jalen Brown's back. Robert Williams should be back, at least healthy enough to get more than 16 minutes off the bench. Uh, Al Horford's back. So this is definitely a revamped Boston Celtics team. And you never really know where they can go at any given time. But I think Jason Tatum is still going to be the dude that's going to be uh, taking over the game, taking all the shots, and trying to accelerate this team to a win, especially since the last time that they played each other. They lost 117 and 112 in TD Gardens. Tyrese Halliburton had like a 35-point game in the, in the win for the Indiana Pacers, but Tatum had his 41 in the loss. So I think Tatum's going to continue to attack the Pacers the way he has been, and I think that he's going to want to play balls out the rest of the season, especially for Kobe, for the Celtics, and he wants to get back to the finals. So I think that Tatum over 29 and a half is definitely a very doable line. All right, guys, that's four picks for the Thursday slate. We will bring the group play back on Friday, but that will do it for our NBA player props for Thursday, February 23rd slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. <laughs> Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.